So finally, as 13 is here and is at the 18 setting, you should change after ordering to as 18 immediately. Just so for some of the setting is good and for some of the setting is bad. So now let's jump with the video. Okay, so for the first setting, anything we actually play music and then go and tap on record. You can for the music gonna stop. But things with as 18 for the music it actually does not stop. So so for this you can open up your setting, then you're gonna go to you're gonna go to actually for any camera, then you're gonna tap on record sound. You're gonna not that one. Tap on record sound and make sure for uh, audio playback, make sure that is on. So next time, if you actually go to your recording, for the music is playing, tap on video, and then you can see for the uh, video is on, and for the music you can uh, still hear the music. Okay, for the second setting, it is actually under camera as well. If you just tap on the, if you just tap on record, you're gonna get a new button. It's gonna be the new pause button. So let's say I'm recording. Look at this. It's gonna be for like five seconds. Tap on that. You're gonna see it's gonna pause. And if we tap on again, and it's gonna uh, continue from there. Okay, so for the third setting, it is actually on the lock screen. If you hold it down and tap on customize. So for, for first of all, you can actually change this finally. You just tap on it, and you can you're gonna get a bunch of options you can uh, change from. And then recently, Apple actually added the third party as well. Well, so that is pretty cool. So let's say I need to do uh, uh, like a airplane mode. I, for the right one, I can just do a stopwatch and then tap on done. And then if you just it tap on this, it's gonna open up the uh, stopwatch. How cool is that? But things that that is actually not the best part. We hold it down and tap on customize and then tap on it again you're gonna get a new option it's called open app so with this you can actually open up any app you want so just tap on choose and you can open up any app you want so let's say i want to open up music i just tap on that then tap on done and then after that i can just open up a music Okay, so for the fifth setting, it is actually going to be on the control center. If you just go to your control center, you're going to see this is going to look brand new because Apple actually e e remake the control center and there's a like different like a pages as well. But things that that is not the best part. If you just tap on plus, then tap on add a control, you're going to get a bunch of new controls. So for the first of all, it's going to be all your default, uh, it's going to be all the default one. But if you actually go down, you're going to get a bunch of like third party as, as well. Just now, as of now, there's no, 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 not many third party app because it just came out recently. If you just tap on Instagram, you're gonna see the Instagram site there. If you actually want, you can actually make this like bigger or smaller. If you want, you can just do like that and tap on done. And if you just tap on that, it's gonna open up the camera on Instagram. Okay, for the next two setting, it's gonna be under internet. So just tap on the Wi Fi and then tap on, tap on the eye uh, icon right here. If you just tap on the eye icon, you're gonna get a for the first one, it's gonna be the fiber address. But things there's actually it like a three settings. The first is gonna be off. So with this, it, it actually gonna uh, tag by in uh, like the network. With this, is it actually gonna like tag by a network. So that's why I tap on like rotate because with this, it actually gonna change. So for the uh, address for the for the internet, it actually gonna change. So with this, for the IP it tracking, it's gonna go down. So with this, for the tracking, it actually gonna go down with the third body apps. For the next setting, it is also gonna be on the internet. For the next setting, it is also gonna be on the internet, and it's gonna be the limit IP address tracking. So if you have this on for the uh, IP address tracking, it's gonna go down because if you don't know if you join any network for the for the IP tracking, it goes like a, like a really high. It's still if it's like a public. So make sure it's under on. For the next setting, it's gonna be under battery, and then it's gonna be under battery health and charging. For the charging, if you have the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, you're gonna get a new setting. It's gonna be the charging limit. So for the limit, you can actually choose for all the way down to 80 to all the way down to 100 percent. So with that, if you choose like eighty five percent for the for the charge, it's gonna stop at, at, at that. If you choose ninety, it's gonna stop at ninety. So for that, with that for that for the battery life, it's actually good. But things if you have the all iPhone, make sure for the optimal battery charging that is on. Okay, for the next setting, it's gonna be under privacy and security. Then after that, you're gonna tap on unlock into service, and after that, you're gonna go down until you find system service. After that, you're gonna go down until you find this. It's gonna be the a significant location. In time, if you actually go outside and if this is on, it's gonna take everything you do on iPhone. I, I know that's crazy, but things with this, make sure you turn that off, and then you can tap on clear, and then tap on clear. And after that, for all the address, it's gonna be gone. Okay, but if you go back, you're gonna get new thing. It's gonna be the contact. So with this, all the all the person you're gonna see here is gonna have access to the contact. Then in the bottom, you're gonna see it's gonna be the uh, a app. So let's say I tap on Instagram, and you're gonna see it's gonna have the access to my contact. So make sure you tap on none. Just not for any app, if you actually need it, then turn it on. But things for any app like Instagram, it doesn't need it. For like Snapchat, it doesn't need it. For TikTok, it actually doesn't need it. So for for all this, make sure you just tap on none.
for the next thing is gonna go for the photos for the photos is gonna be the same thing so these are all the app that add access to your photos for for some it's gonna be full access for some it's gonna be none so so there's a three option you can do none you can do like limited so you can just like you select the photos and you can do full access so that means with the full access it can have access to all, all the photos let's say if you look at 2004 it's gonna have access to 2004 so make sure make sure you change this Okay, for the next setting is gonna be under messages. So just open up the message and you're gonna see something called RCS messages. If you're an Apple that didn't actually talk about this, with this for the messaging between like a different phones, like Android and iPhone, for the messages, it actually looks so much better. It doesn't it doesn't even look better? All the features that, that the for the iMessage ha has or the other apps have, uh, Apple actually introduced this with I RCS messaging. So for this is gonna on by default. What thing if you don't see it right here, so that means it is not available to your carrier. For the carrier, it actually gonna take time to come to your carrier. For the next setting, it's gonna be photos. Just for photos, got a new redesign for me. Personally, I don't like it. But things if you actually tap on customize and if you go down and you're gonna get this new option, it's gonna be customize and rewarder. Just tap on that, you're gonna get a bunch of new options you can choose from. So you can have the recent days, people, your collection, your memories, your trip, for the media type, for for, for the album, for the share album, for for the whatever as well. So for this, for even though it actually looks like a mess, but with this, it actually make it a cleaner with the setting on. For the next setting is gonna be with locking app. So with i setting you can find a lock up, just tap on record face ID. But things you're gonna get a new option, it's gonna hide and record a, a, a face ID. So for for, for that is gonna be hidden and tap on hide. To that you can if after you go to apply but you're gonna see a new hidden album. Just tap on that, then you're gonna tap on your face ID and it is gonna show. The next setting is gonna be under the Apple ID. So just tap on your Apple ID, tap on personal information, then you're gonna get the communication performance, you're gonna tap on that. It's not perform is the performance says you're getting all the settings that's not all these unnecessary make sure you turn that off <laughs> okay okay so for more content just like this one make sure you like the video and don't forget to click the subscribe button and, and then if you see my la la last video about uh, uh, for uh, acetine and all the new feature make sure you click on this video right here and peace out